Hypertension is a disease that affects nearly 50 million Americans every year. To reduce those numbers, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services has developed an eating plan that can help combat high blood pressure. The DASH diet stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, and it basically involves an increased consumption of fruits and vegetables and low saturated fat food. The DASH diet also puts limits on your daily consumption of salt. Salt tends to retain water. You'll draw water wherever the higher concentration of salt is. That higher volume inside the blood space raises the blood pressure. The salt in our food in America is everywhere, and there's so much of it in all of our foods. And even if you don't salt your food at home, if you open that canned soup, or if you open those tomatoes, it will have salt. So you have to watch out for all those hidden sources of salt. If you're new to watching your salt intake, all this information can be a bit overwhelming. But the experts say, the more you pay attention to labels, the more you'll become familiar with what they're trying to convey. The good news are the labels are, are phenomenal today. The fact that the FDA has mandated that everything all the way down to M&Ms have a label on it and tell you exactly what's in there, it makes it easy for you to do a quick sketch and have an idea of how much salt are in the products you're making. Just like exercise, the most effective way to alter your diet is to adopt change gradually so it becomes a natural part of your life. Now, after time, several months of a lower salt diet, the taste buds and the tongue will change such that if you were to reintroduce that original high salt diet, they would immediately have notice that all oh, this food is salty. But for many in our supersize it, eat on the run culture, sticking to the right foods can be a challenge. Your doctor may have a nutritionist on staff who can help. We refer them to the nutrition class where the dietitian meets with them, goes over uh, the food selection as well as uh, how to prepare those foods, which foods are high and low in potassium, high and low in sodium. Keep your cholesterol under control. For some people with hypertension, even small amounts of salt can spell trouble. African Americans tend to be more salt sensitive. Those who are salt sensitive respond very uh, promptly to an elevated salt intake. But because diagnosing salt sensitivity can be difficult, experts recommend that everyone watch their daily intake. There's not a routine test, but salt is only useful in excess to a very small segment of the population who has low blood pressure. So a good rule of thumb is anybody with high blood pressure should avoid excessive sodium. Even if you don't have hypertension, doctors say the DASH diet can still be beneficial. Well, I have no second thoughts about saying this is the diet the whole family should follow.